Hey guys, what's up, Capricorn? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. <laughs> so, um, this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So, flip flop if you need to. Um, also, keep in mind this is a general reading. So it may not resonate for everybody, but if it does with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. I keep seeing some tough cards around you guys. I don't know if it's you, yeah, or someone at a distance. Somebody is really down, like hurt. Their hearts hurt to the point they're just like withdrawn and not interested in shit. Doesn't have to be everybody. I just keep seeing that someone out here is. All right. Um, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, you can find that information below as well. All right. Yeah. It's like somebody is keeping their feelings locked all the way up, not expressing them, but they're hurt. So hopefully, let's see what's coming up for the future, because um, hopefully that shit changes. All right, Kat, let's see what's going on for you. All right, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> see, there it is again. These same cards. I done shuffle cut the deck and it's the same cards flipping out. What is Somebody is very withdrawn and it's because they're... They're hurt. It could be regret, let down. Somebody's offer could be getting rejected. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Somebody is out of it, out of it. All right. But it's, it's, it's trying to find your path. There's a reason for it. All right, the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. I don't know if this is you or the person that you are dealing with, but there's, give me one more card. It's like somebody is regretting, possibly they let you go. Somebody could have been married. Give me one more card. You could be not paying this person any damn attention. This person is like really stressing you. Like losing sleep, thinking about you all the time. You could be coming out as very abundant here. There could have been someone else involved. Um, it doesn't have to be, but I feel like this is you kind of standing in your power. There may be a lot of abundance around you. Talk about this Queen of Wands. Shit. Somebody's like non-stop thinking, like a lot of regret around this, around something. Tell me, uh, show me this Queen of Wands. Who is, what's up with her? I think this is, this is you. There could have been competition around this or other people. Somebody could have got ghosted and left out in the cold. Um, you would know if, shit, this isn't the outcome. Just trying to get more information. Someone could have been married. I can't remember if I already said that. Yeah, you've been standing on your own, healing from something. Could have been a Sagittarius. Somebody could have been juggling you, right? Um, but you've been kind of in your own world, or someone has. Somebody has hurt you. You've been healing. You've been trying to let go of this. And I don't think you're paying this person any interest, any, any attention anymore. And they're stressing you. The Queen of Wands is like standing in your power. With the Ten of Pentacles, um, yeah. Somebody could have been, could have been an Aries. You could have cut this person out because they were deceiving you. There could have been like a marriage in the background or just a mistress. Maybe this person was giving them money or something. That's not for everybody, but show me this Four of Cups. Because you need a future for Capricorn. Y'all got some stuff going on. Let me shuffle these cards. Somebody's hurt. 
like trying their damnedest to let go of that. There could have been like a whole family in the background. Damn. All right, show me this four of cups for Capricorn for the immediate future. That's some heavy energy. Once again, no movement. Like we have, I mean, this is just the obstacle, not the outcome, but we have the hangman. Like somebody's just so hurt, like feeling stuck. Somebody feels freaking stuck trying to let this go. I think anxiety, you know, or, and the worry for this person isn't helping. It's like somebody is, is thinking, kind of just withdrawn with that four of cups. It's like, it's almost like, and normally I get different energies off of it but it's just like a it's just like not even paying attention like staring off into space like la la land somebody just sitting there staring thinking contemplating all the time seven of pentacles is all about um i don't think you're interested in investing any more time into this person if I could get these cards to come out one, one, one at a time, then we get this. Just kind of going back and forth. I mean, we, we only have one source card here, but I feel like this is all mentally for somebody. Just thinking all the time, going back and forth. Just um, somebody is, there's the source, like I was just saying. Somebody needs some clarity, right? But they can't get this. In this state of mind. It's like driving somebody freaking insane. You could have just ghosted it. You're just like fed up. Screw it. Fuck it. I'm done. And cut it out. Ghosted it. Because somebody is getting left behind here. Someone is getting cut out. The high priestess here. So you may just not even be. You're getting that clarity. You're using your intuition now. Things are going to wrap back around. I'm not saying with this person. I mean, that clarity is coming. But with the high priestess, you could just be freaking like, yeah, like leaving. Cutting it out, not even saying anything. This is somebody that's so out of it. So out of it. Show me this hermit. It's like you're just cutting it out and leaving it behind. Somebody's getting left behind. Some, show me this page of cups. Yeah, it's ten of swords. You're cutting this shit out, leaving it behind. They may come towards you with an apology here. Page of swords. They may come towards you with an apology. But you're kind of going in hermit mode now. Like you, 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 you're just like, screw it. I'll find my own way. I'll find my own path. You're not having this. They may try to apologize and you're just like, nope. It's done. They hurt you really bad. Damn, I'm sorry that you feel like that cat. Yeah, bottom of the deck, the three of swords, heartbreak, distance. It's like you're focusing on yourself. Take time and chill because there is something coming for you, a new cycle that you're not seeing. The world's there. With every ending comes a new beginning. But I think you're kind of going like you're finding your way now. Shit. With that hermit card there. Could have be finding something out online as well. With the page of swords there. Yeah, chill. Just rest, heal. You're no longer interested in this drama. For some of you, they're coming back to apologize. And you're like, hell, not like you. I don't even know if you you answer the phone. Argument.
you're no longer interested. You're like with the four of swords next to this, this person, you know, somebody may try to argue and somebody's like, nope, I just want my peace. I'm cutting this out. This is a whole lot of different withdrawn, fall back, leave me alone kind of energy. You have a lot of withdrawn cards here. Like somebody is trying to let go of this all the way. And that's exactly what's happening. But I like that at the end, it wraps up with the hermit because that is, you know, taking that time, no longer like in this contemplation mode, like you're actually finding your way doing that soul searching. All right, Cap. I uh, hope, hope this helped in some way. Yeah, heartbreak. But there's that ace of um, wands. Yeah, you may have been dealing with a player. They may have hidden a lot of shit here. But, all right, Cap. Talk to you later.